welcome to this edition of Let's Talk Networking. I'm Terry Lee Harrison, and as you know, I'm passionate about helping coaches, consultants, and solopreneurs be able to network in the most dynamic and lucrative way. On today's edition, we're going to be continuing that conversation <laughs> on sales is easy if you know how, and I have just a perfect guest to continue this conversation. Welcome, Brian K. McNeil. So happy to have you with me today. I'm super excited to be here as well, Terry Lee. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this opportunity to serve. And I love the title of this topic. It's yeah, so right? easy when you know how. Okay. That's right. For me, it resonates so much with all the things that you teach, right? And so if it's all right, let me introduce you a little more formally okay. to people just getting to know you. Um, so here we go. So Brian K. McNeil helps build super confidence and sales skills within entrepreneurs so that they can earn more money than ever before. I know that's what they want. He is known as the sales confidence coach, as you will see there in his name. And he's coming to us um, this <laughs> evening, his time, this morning, my time, and who knows what time it'll be when you all listen um but he's coming to us from charlotte north carolina so so it's so fun to have international lives like this isn't it it is so much fun and today i am going to bless whomever okay. tunes in. i'm going okay. to teach you some stuff that's some some blatantly obvious things but also some high level things and by the time i'm finished talking today every one of you that hear this will be able to sell yourself and your service is better than you did before I started talking. And this is not what I hope to accomplish. It's what I know will be true. So Ooh. I'm going to present as if I loved you and I only had a few minutes. And I want to ensure you were successful. So if it's somebody that I know and love and I want to make sure they're successful, what would I tell them? What would okay, I tell them right great. up front? This First off, if you're a coach or a consultant or if you sell an intangible service, mm -hmm. something that that has to be that's they don't get to hold it they get to use it and benefit from it but they don't get to hold it if it's an intangible service it must be sold through a story ah. through a story your money is in your story i want you to strike dead the whole idea of pitching mm -hmm. i'm going to pitch my my services i want to pitch for this deal stop it don't pitch ever again no pitching Tell your story. There's two types of people we know love stories. One of them is children. We know children love stories. Mommy, tell me a story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we also know that adults love stories. Okay, because we watch movies and TV shows and read books. And we can't stand it when we don't know how the story ends. So you must learn to sell your services through a story. Like, for example, if you were to ask me what I do for a living, I would say... And if you start timing, it'll take about 29 to 33 seconds. Okay. You know how there's so many amazing coaches and consultants out here that offer services that really, really do help people. But a lot of times the services they offer people, they don't earn nearly the money that they could or should. And very often they don't earn that money because they don't know how to sell it well. And what I do is I teach them how to sell themselves and their services better than they ever have before so they can earn more money than ever before. Mm -hmm. That's it. And that's what I do. You have a story as well, and I can help you shape your story. But let me just give you some fun bullet points to start using right away. Okay. People are going to work with you for either emotional reasons yeah. or for logical reasons. Mm -hmm. Emotional reasons are the way they imagine they're going to feel after they work with you. Logical reasons because it's smart and it makes sense and it's a good deal. And what do you believe is a more compelling reason to work with you, emotion or logic? What do you think, Terry Lee? Uh, the most compelling? What's more compelling of a reason to work with you, emotional reasons or for logical reasons? I think people will go for the emotion despite what they hear on the logical, right? Exactly right. And it's not even close. People yeah. buy what they want or what they feel like way more than what they need. People yeah. do not buy Mercedes Benz because they have good brakes. They buy them because of <laughs> an ego rub, right? Yeah. And sometimes we need that ego rub, you know? That's that's why we do things. So knowing this to be true, you, my entrepreneurial friends, must start offering your services with emotion. Mm, the easiest yes. way to do that is with your words you choose. Now, mm. Terry Lee, I, 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 I feel like I've said these things to you before, but I'm going to do it again. Uh -oh. Terry Lee. What do you believe is the most emotional word in the English 
language. It starts with an L. I think we have talked about this before, so I feel like I'm cheating, but it's love. It's okay. It's the it's word love. is love. The word yeah. is love. And you can cheat on this because they're going to benefit <laughs> anyway. Okay. The word is love. Most adults have taught themselves how to become uncomfortable saying the word love. Mm -hmm. I want you, my entrepreneur friends, to start using the word love to offer your services again. Use the word love often and comfortably. Mm -hmm. For example, you're going to love mm -hmm. being able to confidently overcome objections. Or if my clients tell me that they love, you're going to love, 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 love. <laughs> Get comfortable saying the word love. And if you recall, that's the most emotional word. Now, the second most emotional word, and it's okay to cheat, starts with an H. What is oh, that? I love this one. It's home. The it's word home. is home. Yes. For most people, home has a very positive connotation. Mm. Home sweet home. I'll be mm -hmm. home for Christmas. There's no place like home. Home is mom and them. Your stuff, your security, food. You know, that's what it is. And using the word home and offering your services. I'm the sales confidence coach. If you let me help you. Everyone in your home will reap the benefits of you bringing in more money. Okay. Just think and use your creativity. How can you use the word home? You know, um, you're going to love going home, feeling satisfied with the work that you had done. Now, I use mm -hmm. both the word love and home in the same sentence mm -hmm. there. Oh, I have one. I have one. Yeah, that, I mean, it. Oh, only it. because of you. Right. But it's, but if you think about um, um, team referral network virtual chapters, you will love your new networking home. You will love your new networking home. That mm -hmm. sentence, terribly delivered with good voice tonality, mm -hmm. you will love your new networking home. Mm -hmm. Can't take on an almost hypnotic effect. Mm. It, it's a powerful thing. And it's such a simple thing. And there's one more word, and I hope you remember it. If not, um, I'll, I'll help you. <laughs> okay, it's the you. word that most adults wish they heard more often. They really wish they heard this word more often and they do not hear it nearly enough every what does it I start know, with <laughs> huh what does it start with well it depends on the person because ah. the word that most adults wish they heard more often is the sound of their own first names oh yes yes <laughs> Oh, yes, and it's so true, and we don't hear it often enough. No, it's like, and the coolest thing about using a person's name, Terry Lee, is you can't overdo it. You can say it again and again and again, and every time you're willing, it's like you have to be willing to say their name. And every time you say their name, they, you get their attention again every time, and it feels good to them every time, and they like you more. It's like you're complimenting them or edifying them each time you're just willing to say their name. Play with these toys, love, home, and a person's first name. Now, I got more stuff. I forgot to time myself. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. You know what? I think that um, that's a beautiful teaser. I think okay. that's a beautiful teaser. And, and it's and so powerful. Even this little glimpse Brian gave us mm -hmm. of um, using a story, incorporating wor the words love, home, their first name, those are powerful tools to use when we are working with prospects um, and, and just building that relationship with them. So um, Brian and I have an event we want to invite you to later Ooh. in the week. But but before that, if you enjoy Brian K. McNeil like I do, obviously I'm a fan. I know some of his words. <laughs> so um, so for me, um, I want to invite you, Brian, to share with people how they can get a hold of you in the meantime. How can people find you? <clears throat> the easiest way to just go to my website. Um, I'm available everywhere on social media, but BrianKMcNeil.com. That's B-R-I-A-N, the letter K that's in there. And my last name is spelled M C. N-E-I-L-L dot com. You, I'm available on social media everywhere, either under Brian K. McNeil or the Sales Confidence Coach. Awesome. 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 So if you're if you are loving Brian and want to connect with him, I know he would love to connect with you. So please do that. And then this Thursday, North America time. Um, like 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, Friday morning for Melbourne, Sydney at 10 a.m. Uh, we are hosting this month's virtual team global gathering. And so How we're so excited. Lee? Keep all of these time zones. How do well, you do it? Sometimes I screw up, my friend. <laughs> sometimes I blow it. But the other thing is, um, 
when the meeting is held that time every month, you can pull it out of your, you know, your memory. Oh my that, Lord, yeah. that's, yeah, that's yeah, beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But but for me, um, this event, this event is powerful. Okay, we're going to start off with an hour of national and global networking where you can come and make um, connections with ease, followed by a 30 minute segment. So today we heard from Brian. Yesterday, if you all check my social media, we heard from our other speakers, Ian Parker and Ashley al -Sadi. These three sales experts are, are ex have different takes on what they teach, and the combination of having them together on a panel is going oh. to be super, super powerful. Yep. So uh, please, um, I'm going to direct you all to V Team Gathering. It's here in the post. You can get more information. This is a no cost event. Um, if you cannot, I know, can you believe it? Like, hello. But but the thing about it is, um, if you if you can't make it at that time, so at the times I rattled off, please register anyway, because we will send you access to the replay of this amazing presentation. Sales is easy if you know how. So um, V Team Gathering, Brian, thank you so much. Lachelle Atkins popped by Brian and says hello. So I'm sure we say hello to Lachelle. We're so glad that you're here, Lachelle. Hello, hello. So Lachelle, Brian, how are you doing? I know, right? Lachelle, we're so happy you're here. Um, so listen, Brian, if we, as we go to leave this live today, is there anything you would love to share for the good of the order? Back to you. For the good of the order? Yep. Just, you know, just before we, before we close. All right. I'll say this, that our lives are not scrimmages or practice games. There is no martyrs Hall of Fame, time that speaks or takes its toll. And for us as entrepreneurs, every day really is the Super Bowl. Take your work more seriously because you are here to bless somebody with what you're gifted with. Thank oh, you. So good. Okay. So that that just trumped my <laughs> that just trumped my quote. But I guess no, we are. <laughs> we need to, we we do. We have our gift and people need us and we need to show up every day. We need to show yes. up every day. So, but my quote is, and then we'll go. Um, thanks everyone for being part. Thank you, Brian, for being mm -hmm. here. It's, um, it, I always say in networking, let's cheer each other on and help each other grow. So let's go on today in the time that we have left in our day and go do that. So thank you everyone. We'll see you on the next edition of Let's Talk Networking.